check it out, Funky Muñeca coming back at you. Right now, I have some people that were greatly influenced by Africa Mombada and the, the hip hop culture in general, Rocksteady. And representing from right to left is... Say your name, man! Hello! Bags Almighty. <laughs> I'm smart. Pop Master Fable. My boy Ken Swift. Wiggle. Crazy legs. <laughs> B-Boy Zulu Gremlin. Hip-hop, just like what Van Moe says, has its negative and positive sides. But one thing that um, we can say, it was more culturally bound. I mean, none of the elements were separated. If you, to, in order to have a culture, it's not just music. Music isn't culture. Music is an aspect of culture. You know, art is part of culture. Food is culture. How you dress is culture. What are you guys doing now to help some of the younger people in your community? I mean, have you taken anybody under your um, wing? Well, are you teaching young you people about hip-hop right now? The main message to kids, man, is that you got to know that there's a whole society of people against you. And every move that you make is being watched. So if you want to really survive in this world, man, you got to make the decision. And you got to say, okay, I got two people I can follow. I can follow the drug dealer, or I can follow the people that are creative in the hip-hop culture. You know what I'm saying? Those are your two role models. And which one are you going to pick?